Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Adam. Guys, in this video, I need your help. What is Shiba Inu? I'm taking a look right now at market cap, sorry, coinmarketcap.com. And this is the first time I'm looking at this website and not just looking at Bitcoin, Ethereum, maybe Cardano. Okay. This is the first time I'm even noticing there's a trending area over here in biggest gainers and recently added because I'm not that, that big into crypto, into understanding you know, all the functions of them and the differences between this coin and that coin. I kind of just invest in the two biggest ones because I just know the buy and hold and they go up over time as a speculation. Otherwise, I'm more into stocks. But anyway, guys, let's go through coinmarketcap.com and just get my head wrapped around crypto and cryptocurrency. So the first thing would be Bitcoin, okay? It is at a cool $1 trillion market cap. That is unbelievable, okay? That is a lot of money to be put into internet gold, okay? It's digital gold, that's it. One trillion dollars worth of, okay. Ethereum, 425 billion dollars, pretty much the size of like Visa, okay? Visa's existed for how long? 20, 30, 40 years? And it's the same size, Ethereum, okay. Anyway, okay, Binance coin. I know that Binance is a brokerage. I don't understand how their coin works, I know Voyager Digital, which is a company that I invest in, is another brokerage, and they have their own token called VGX. But again, like how does this coin, what function does it have to be able to want to invest and become the third biggest crypto? I don't get it. Okay, let me know guys in the comments. Please, please help me understand. All right, Cardano, I know this one is a lot more uh, socially accepted in the retail space. Uh, I know it's a little bit better when it comes to energy, I think. Otherwise, again, I don't know. I know it has, again, $73 billion. I knew this one was third for a while now, and then it just got overtaken by a few, what, million? I mean, we're talking in millions here as if they're, they're, they're nothing, but yeah. So we have Tether, XRP, Solana, Polkadot, all of 33 billion, 46 billion, 50 billion. So much money, guys. But again, it just, it seems so small in comparison to Bitcoin, but we don't really understand how much moolah that is. You have your Dogecoin at 10, you have Uniswap, Avalanche, Binance again, which I don't know why there's a second one. Litecoin, Chainlink, and then we go down to Shiba Inu, up 200% for the, the, the week. I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce that price or what that, that could be, guys. How many, like, what fraction of a cent that could be. But it is up 200% over the week. So what I do want to take a look at is the chart. And look at this, guys. <laughs> that is your textbook get out of this stock ASAP. I mean, you see this, you don't, you don't enter a position. That is textbook do not enter for a first time position. I mean, if you're already in it and you've got in anywhere below, let's say 1756, decimal 0000, 000 1756, if you got in below there, okay, I would understand, like take some position and hold some if you want, because it can continue ripping higher, absolutely. But to first enter a position into something that I don't even know what kind of value or true value it holds, or what kind of function it has, it just seems like a, like a meme coin to be honest, just like Doge or whatever, just the next one with the hype. But if you want to get into it now, like you probably don't want to do that. Again, it could continue ripping higher, but as a position, this is not where you want to start getting into it because this is just another, like think of what's going to happen. What's the next thing that's going to happen based on what you know on the left? You see this big giant red candle. You see this huge wick. If it continues going red from here, guys, it's most likely going to continue. However, it could reverse what it did yesterday and then continue ripping higher. That's always a possibility but those chances aren't in your favor today. Again, I would be very uncomfortable getting in, but that's just me. If you're in Shiba Inu, let me know in the comments below. I also want to take a quick look at Bitcoin. So seeing Bitcoin over here, it ran up and now it looks like it's pulling back. So this is normal, this is healthy. We want to see a pullback maybe to the $53,000 mark, which we're approaching right now, find some kind of consolidation and then lightning bolt back up toward the upside. That would be healthy. If it continues breaking down from that point, and starts reaching toward let's say fifty thousand, that that wouldn't be so healthy. Again, it's we're still we'd still be in bullish context. Maybe we would hit those moving averages, the twenty and the fifty, but it wouldn't be as good as pulling back to let's say fifty three and then ripping higher from there. With the next stop being around fifty nine, sixty thousand, then the all time high of about sixty five thousand, and then all time highs from there. Exciting stuff. Taking a look at Ethereum again, similar situation. Uh, if we do pull back, it would want to be kind of in this area toward the 20 and 50 EMA, and then same idea, next stop 4,000, and then the next stop after that, all time highs, and then blue skies from there. And lastly, Cardano, and I haven't been following this one very much uh, at all, but 
but it is a coin I do want to start tracking as it is a very popular one again. And it's been trading in this channel over the last few weeks between let's say $2 and $2.45 roughly. Again, we see a resistance point back from May when it hit uh, the all time high uh, at the time, again, 250, which is where we're seeing that resistance right now and support again at that $2 mark. So we want to see uh, some kind of movement outside of that channel to see where it'll go further from there. So let me know in the comments below what you think of Shiba Inu, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, or any kind of cryptocurrency. Let me know guys what you're saying as well. Like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.